Greetings and salutations. Welcome to another episode of 365 Days of Gaming. I appreciate you taking our time to check out this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Greatly appreciate it, so thank you in advance. Now, there became a genre that kind of emerged during the PlayStation days that never was quite as big before and probably after like the PS2 era. So they started in the PlayStation era and this was the the genre of like destruction derby type games, right? You get a vehicle, you ride around real fast. There are weapons of sorts. Sometimes it's a, there's a race, but sometimes it's just about destroying each other. And the PlayStation obviously had one of the biggest games in that genre. And it was definitely a demo disc staple. And there was also part of the greatest hits. Pretty much all of the releases were greatest hits. And I'm talking about the Twisted Metal series. Now I'm going to talk to you about the third one in particular, because this is the one that I owned. Um, but I spent a lot of time playing the first two, uh, especially the, the demo for the second one was real big in my in my neighborhood, uh, just because I mean it came on a lot of people's PlayStations and it was a pretty good game. But if you are unfamiliar with the Twisted Metal series, it's a destruction derby, you know, race like series where all these different characters are trying to go against each other, because if you win the whole thing, you get your wish granted. Um, but it was really cool. It was almost like a fighting game in the sense of when you beat the game, everybody had an ending. So there was a lot of really interesting things about the characters. They had like these cutscenes and stuff that went with them. Um, and so the third one I end up owning because it was uh, PlayStation Greatest Hits, 20 bucks. I'm like, all right, I rock with Twisted Metal. Let me, you know, go ahead and get this one and end up having a really, really good time with this game. Played it multiple times, trying to get the endings for different characters. Um, I was always particular to like Thumper, Warthog, uh, Spectre. And, you know, just a few other uh, some of the mainstays. I was never a big sweet tooth guy. I know that like for some people that was like, oh, he's on the cover. You got to get him. Uh, but never really my thing. Um, I really like to like outlaw because of the each of the, the vehicles had their own super moves, too. And some of them were just like, you know, like Warhol just fires like three missiles at you at once. OK, that's cool. Uh, but Thumper has like the waves that shoot out that kind of mess up, mess you up and get turn you over. Um outlaw had the lightning bolts so if you get in the middle of people you could take out multiple people at once so it just depends on how your style is but everybody had like some strengths and weaknesses some things are bigger than others so they take more damage uh, but other ones have better maneuverability they're faster so again you know you pick your poison so twisted metal like the thing with each entry was the different locations the different maps that was really what changed and you know to a degree of selection of characters and this game was really fun single player or multiplayer that was always the other thing is like you could play this by yourself and have a great time sometimes with racing games i feel like you have to have other people like mario kart is a game that i always enjoy but i always felt like i needed to play with people otherwise i was not getting the most out of it twisted metal not so much you can just jump in and have some fun uh, but it can get really difficult in the story mode you're going against multiple enemies who are supposed to fight each other and sometimes they do but a lot of times, especially if you put the difficulty higher, they will just all fight you. So, you know, it becomes a, a battle of survival. You got to know how to drive. You got to learn some of the areas because different weapons and different power ups are in different spots. Um, but it's again, it's it's one of those games where, like, you can pick it up and play drive and shoot. You know, that's the two easiest things you can do. Drive and shoot. Right. And obviously it becomes more and more chaotic as you get you know more and more into the game, especially if you do like the two player uh, story mode or tournament mode or whatever they want to call it, whatever the the arcade mode is. But it can start to get hectic. And this was like one of the first games that I really played that used the, hor the, the vertical split screen, which I thought was preposterous at first, but I kind of see the benefits to it. Uh, but at the time, I was like, yeah, they're they're weird for this. But, you know, you go to different different like cities. So, you know, you go to like D.C., you'll go to like in the third one, it started to get a little weird. You started going to like spaceships and all these other different things. But the cool thing was also seeing like each stage you see like the world is in chaos. So, you know, everything's always on fire. You know, it's like some Mad Max dystopian type stuff. But that was Twisted Metal. It was, you know, destruction everywhere. And there were some spinoff games that kind of tried to take what Twisted Metal did and go up even further, which in some cases it worked, in most cases it did not. But this was definitely one of those pass the controller around games, too, because you could have a bunch of people sitting there playing. And when somebody died, you know, you know, if you got last place or, you know, what have you, you got to give up that gotta give up that stick. Um, and then some people would complain about certain moves and stuff like that. Like, I don't appreciate anybody who has the freezing ability because you kind of just got to sit there for a second and just get shot and that's always not cool um but you know 
everybody has their favorite character. Some people like Mr. Grimm because he's on the motorcycle. You know, you got a uh, got the grandma and the Hummer. There's just you know a wide variety of personalities, and, and the moves kind of fit accordingly. This isn't the most technical game. You know, sometimes you get a little lucky. Sometimes you get a bad break, but that's that's part of the fun. Yeah, you know, it's it's twisted metal. It's not supposed to be precise. This is not a uh, competition level game. But I'm sure you've heard of this franchise, but did you play it? Did you enjoy it? Favorite characters? Um, you know, which version did you like? Especially the PlayStation ones. I know we got the PS2 and PS3 ones to talk about at some point, maybe. But just sticking with the PlayStation, did you did you enjoy those games? Uh, did you actually beat any of them? I beat the third one. I never beat any other ones because it takes a lot of skill and also a little bit of luck and uh you know i was just i was i was sufficient just beating it on the, the third one with a couple of characters that i did but i'd love to hear your stories about this game as always i appreciate you taking our time to reminisce with me y'all have fun y'all be safe peace